Stephen Douglas, Dodgers lowdown out here at Camelback Ranch with a couple of the Dodgers instructors here. Jeremy Rodriguez, uh, manager of the Great Lakes Loons, and Pedro Montero, coach with the Dodgers, Rovin instructor at the uh, Dominican League and also Arizona this year. How are you guys doing? Thank you so much for joining me today. Oh, I'm doing great, Stephen. Thanks for having us. Yeah, thank you. Thank yeah, you for no having problem. us. No problem. I'll start with you, coach. Talk about this season. No, it's been uh, it's been an awesome experience. Um, people in Great Lakes, the fans, the front office, uh, definitely um, you know big league experience with those people. I mean, it just uh, it was a, tr a tremendous experience, and I mean it couldn't happen without them. Uh, season was definitely a roller coaster. I mean, a lot of ups and downs, but um, a lot of moves. Um, but I mean, it was a great experience, and you know, with being involved in that big trade uh, to help our big league team, I think it was. Uh, it was definitely something new to it for a lot of us, and uh, but the guys had fun. We got better each day, and um, I mean, we played good baseball. So that's all we can really ask for. Absolutely, absolutely. Now, Pedro, first year with the Dodgers, PD to uh, some in the organization. Talk about your experience here this first year with Los Angeles Dodgers. Uh, it's been a great experience. You know, had a great opportunity to come out here and be a part of the Dodgers organization, and I'm really ha happy and thankful for the opportunity. It was crazy, you know, just going from the Dominican back and forth, being there for three weeks at a time, and then coming back to Arizona three weeks at a time. You know, it was it was crazy. You know, time change, and you know the time the t uh, time of the uh, games in the morning in the Dominican, and then the night games here, and then going back and forth. Uh, but it was an awesome run. You know, we won in the Dominican, which was awesome. Both teams made it and got to the finals, and uh, we got to the semifinals here in the playoffs with Arizona with the best record overall. And you know, that was pretty cool to be part of two playoff teams uh, during the course of the year. No doubt, no doubt. I don't even know which uh, Dominican League team won, DSL 1 or DSL 2. They were both facing each yeah, other. Yeah, so it was DSL 2 that ended up winning, but uh, overall it was a pretty cool experience. I wasn't able to be there. I had to stay here, uh, but it was cool to see some of the video where we played in that final game and we ended up making the final out at third or at first. and. Our guys all took off into the mound from both dugouts, and just just to see that was pretty cool. You know, you don't really get to see that in championship games, so it says a lot about the Dodgers organization, and you know, throughout from you know bottom all the way to the top. So, absolutely, absolutely. Now, uh, you two share a background together. Talk about that a little bit. I mean, was there ever a time that you both dreamt you'd be Dodger coaches? Oh man. Um, well, it started out. I was what 13. 12, 13. 12 years old, and my dad uh, would always take me to San Fernando High School to, you know, work out with the varsity team. Um, and Petey was a junior at the time, and you know, Petey always took me under his wing. And um, I remember there was one time I didn't want to switch hit anymore, and Petey was the first one to get on me because Petey was a switch hitter. And um, a lot of things that he did uh, in high school and the way he handled his business, he was a big role model for me. And um, someone I definitely, um, you know, looked after and kind of wanted to be like. What about you, PD? Any, uh, anything you want to add to that? It's crazy, you know, going back and forth and then uh, us, you know, we kept in touch all those years and then he got to high school and I was, I think, in college or playing independent ball at the time and he started working out over at the Ray Smith Baseball Academy where I was working out as well and then I ended up becoming an instructor there. And then he shows up and I'm like, what are you doing here? So it was kind of cool to, like, see that in the full circle back into it and the next thing I know, you know, he's playing, you know, professionally, and you know, I'm trying to help him out during the offseason, throwing him BP or whatever he needed help with. And the next thing I know, he's coach, and I was like, man, that'd be kind of cool. And you know, we started talking about, it. I was like, man, that'd be kind of cool if we coach together. And here we are together, you know. And you know, he had a, he had to, you know, put my name down and help me out. And you know, obviously, I had to go through the interview process and all that. But it's kind of coming all full circle. So it's pretty cool to be together and knowing each other for all these years. And I mean, that includes two other guys. That includes Fumi and T. Brock as well. Uh, so it's really cool to see that um, coming around together as a group. So you guys, Fumi, T. Brock, Reggie Smith, what's the connection? Uh, we all either have worked out with Reggie at one time as players. Uh, some, of, um, all of us have come back as instructors and helped out in the academy. And you know, I've known T. Brock since I was 14. J. Ross since he was 12. Fumi since I was 15. Wow. Uh, and we've all known each other all these years, going back and forth and. You know, Reggie's been a big mentor to us, you know, to this day. You know, he still helps us with stuff, questions that we might have asked. And it's kind of cool to be able to be part of a Dodgers organization and wear the Dodgers uniform, the same uniform that, you know, Reggie got to wear. And, you know, hearing all the Dodgers stories and talking about the Dodgers way and 
you know, trying to carry that. I mean, we learned that stuff a long time ago when we were younger, and, you know, to be back here and go, man, this is a really cool organization. Like, we knew that, but now we get to experience it, so. What about you, J-Rod? Jeez, uh, um, I remember I was 13, and I was looking for a hitting instructor that, you know, knew how to switch hit, because I was still, you know, switch hitting, and I wanted to master that uh, tool of mine. And when I found out, you know, Reggie was, you know, in the valley and uh, doing lessons, I knew there was no one better. Um, after the first lesson, he he definitely blows you away with his knowledge and his examples, and just he teaches you how to be your own hitting coach. And that's something that uh, Pete and myself would just really, you know, really appreciated. Um, but I mean, you know, we've we've talked a lot, and Reg doesn't also he doesn't just teach you baseball. I mean, he teaches you life lessons and you know how to become a you know a better man and. Um, just kind of take you through life and something something that I've always respected Reggie and you know He's always there for us, you know, even now we have you know coaching questions for him and, sure, and I called right. him the other day And he you know he he answered right away and we he's talked for New about Zealand. Yeah, right New now. Zealand wow. and so questions, Wow, though. so you know, he's he's always there for us and um, I think he's always there for all his students So that's been something that his availability has been has been awesome, and it's something special Tell us something special, some pearl of wisdom that he may have given you here in the last uh, last year or so. Have fun. Um, always keep learning, and uh, I guess take it day by day. I would say uh, biggest thing is you know get to the ballpark, and when you're there, go to work. Nothing else matters but what you're doing here, and you know uh, keeping your mind open and learning new things, and being able to you know dare to to learn something and get it explained so you can, you know, not only learn for yourself, but more importantly for the players, because it's not about us, it's about the players. I think that's the biggest take that I've gotten from Reggie was, you know, that, you know, and that's helped me because when you're thinking about things, how can you learn something 10 different ways so that you can teach that player 10 different ways, because he may not understand one way or the second way, so he may have to go to plan A all the way through Z sometimes, so that's been the biggest advice, so. Wait a second, but don't you know something about Reggie, too? Don't you ask him involved with Reggie? Well, not as much as you guys, uh, certainly. Uh, I, I got lucky and got to uh, coach with Reggie at a camp for one week, and it was probably 97 or 98 when uh, Reggie was uh, first starting up, really, the Reggie Smith Centers after his time with the uh, Los Angeles Dodgers. So uh, incredible uh, to, like you said, glean knowledge off of uh, such a master. I tell you what, he teaches about... The character of man. You guys are shining of examples. Thank you so much. Petey, thank you. Really appreciate, appreciate you. J Rod, thank you so much. Always a pleasure.